It's Independence Day! The aliens are back, and they're none too pleased about losing their last battle on Earth. Why are they screaming? They're not screaming. They're celebrating. As part of their plan for revenge, they move one of their large ships over the surface of the Earth. The ship is so massive that it starts to gravitationally rip the Earth's surface towards it. It has its own gravity. But could this ever be for reals? Like, for reals reals? Yeah. First things first. Gravitational force is an attractive interaction between any two objects with mass. That means that if the Earth pulls down on a person, the person also pulls up on the Earth. So, in order for a building to actually be lifted up, the gravitational attraction to the spaceship has to be at least as large as that of the Earth. We don't really get a good view of the spacecraft, so let's just guess that it's 5,000 meters above the surface of the Earth. So if it were to have a gravitational effect, from our calculations, the spaceship would need a mass of 3.7 quintillion kilograms. Meh, that's about the same weight of an asteroid with a radius of about 70 kilometers. But really, who's to say mass is the only thing that can create gravitational fields? Or maybe the explanation is... I got nothing. This is a science fiction movie for Pete's sake. On top of that, it's an Independence Day movie, which doesn't give a hoot about the laws of physics. <laughs>